Well, you've probably heard of Pi Day. There's even a World Math Day every year. But today is Square Root Day, which doesn't happen very often. Welcome to It's Misty Engler to look more into what that is. She's joining us now live from our Pocatello newsroom. So, Misty, why is Square Root Day so unique? Jay, Square Root Day only happens once every several years. The last one was 3 3 of 09. I spoke to some local math teachers, and they said the Square Root Day is kind of a fun way to show people the significance that numbers can have. At first, they, this work seemed really easy. At Pocatello High School, Mr. Johnson is teaching his class to find a formula for X and Y, giving them a value. He says math teachers hope to show students not only the math is important, but that numbers play a huge role day to day. Almost everybody uses a certain amount of math in their life every day, even if it's just counting and adding. Um, there's numbers all over the place, not just when it comes to money, but things like distances and time. Square Root Day is a perfect example of numbers being everywhere. Today is the fourth month times the fourth day equals the year, 4-4 four, four of 2016. Just like the majority of people wouldn't pay attention to those numbers to know they're significant, people don't realize principles of math they learned in school are applicable everywhere. Sometimes when they're thinking about rates and ratios and as far as like grocery shopping, how much am I paying per pound of this or per ounce of that? People also use percentages when shopping, such as figuring out 30% or 70% off an item. But that's not all. So I think one aspect that a lot of kids overlook sometimes is the sports. There is a ton of statistical analysis that goes into sports and the sporting events. The people that run ESPN and the newscasters on ESPN look at statistics every day, all day long, in order to sound knowledgeable. Even just the thinking process used in learning math is beneficial. Albert Einstein said that education is what remains when what was learned in school has been forgotten. So even if you don't use a specific thing from math class, the fact that you had to sit there and pay attention to details and struggle through it, that's something you use every day. The math teacher said that the analytical thinking process it takes to do math is something that's very valuable for future careers. The ability to look at a complex problem and solve it, even if you're not doing math specifically, is something that all jobs need. Reporting live from the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Misty Inglet. All right, thanks very much, Misty. And as I do some analyzing myself, it would seem like the next square root day would be, this was four, it would be five, five of 25. So May 5th of 2025 will be the next square root day. A long ways off.